hop in guys. We're going snorkeling for snakeheads. You're gonna love this. If I can visualize something and see it in the water and picture what it's doing down there, then I can understand it better. Ow! Our odds of getting bit by a moxin were slim to maybe. I completely forgot, honestly, about the gators being in the canal until we looked at my boot and it had these teeth marks in it. What's up guys, today we're after a giant snakehead fish. They've taken over South Florida, they're in all the canals, and what they've started to do is eat the baby ducks. They're on nest, they're spawning right now, and supposedly they're mean and they've been known to attack humans. So we're gonna throw Lauren in the water and see what happens. What do you think of that? You. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the water, I'm gonna try to chase them to her, and we're gonna try to lift the net up, because we tried to catch them with a rod, but they're so powerful, they pull our line up in the weeds and they keep getting unhooked, so no matter what, we're gonna catch one. It might take us four, five, ten hours, but we're gonna catch one right now. Ready? So I called Cam up and I'm like, we've gotta go now. I found this spot and there's a pile of snakeheads there. We've gotta go. I saw them all around this pipe on my lunch break. We gotta go. So I had this idea, we can tie the net across the canal. I'll just swim through the pipe. It'll be real fast and easy. The fish will swim out. Lauren will lift the net up and... Oh, we're getting wet today. Ooh, that looks creepy in there. Living the life of luxury in the ditch. We're gonna find out if these things bite. Hopefully they don't. So now if you can hold this one. Oh. We're getting squirrely. You're gonna have to work this like, like your reins. I don't wanna keep that low. When they come out here, you're gonna yank these two up, okay? And then if they get away, uh, we're gonna find them. They're not getting away. Let me get a mask. If you hear me scream in there, don't let go of that net, because that means they're coming. We're down 911. If you guys come to South Florida, if you're on a vacation, do not leave home enough. First of all, bring your dive flag. You never know when you're going to be pulling over it into a canal. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that gets overlooked, like these snakehead fish. You gotta let people know that we're diving. We've got a camera, a stick, a little girl, a canal. What could go wrong? We're right in the verge of when the water is going to start warming up, the algae is going to start blooming, and we had a good chance for the visibility to be at least, you know, three to five feet. Our odds of getting bit by a moxin were slim to maybe. Normally you don't see them as active on the side of the pipes until the water starts moving. At that point the water is stagnant, so I felt safe. So right away I was amped up. I put on my snorkel gear. I'm all fired up. We're gonna get in the water. We're gonna get this thing. Lauren, get ready. Here comes big mama. I mean, right now, would I jump in that pipe? Maybe if I had to, but I don't think it's a good idea, no. I came around the side of the canal, decided to snorkel and go through and there's a dark spot in the middle. I just assumed the light coming from one end, that that was just a shadow in the center, and it, that wasn't the case at all. It happened to be the whole nest of uh, bullseye snakehead fish. And right then, my feet get knocked out from underneath me, and I keep going forward. And then now I'm freaking out. Everything's out the window. I thought I was being attacked. I thought my legs were gone, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know? So I'm trying not to laugh, and I'm staying, and I'm trying to keep my body moving forward, but I couldn't get my grip and I'm, I'm going, you know, and I decided at that point, I'm just gonna stand up in here and run out of this sucker and chase these things. Man, it came right at me. You'll probably see it in here. He tried to bite the camera. It was like, it was a nice one. Is it actually? Yeah, oh yeah. Hope that was on. <laughs> I just saw a like, face come at me. I'm like, yes. And then I'm like, no, turn around in the net. There's a couple of monsters in this area. We're not giving up yet. Um, they're actually so elusive. They literally, one turn came at me and went underneath me and let you see the footage of that, I hope. But, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna have to get in here because they're hidden up under the weeds. I'm gonna have to get in here and snorkel down the canal and chase them into the net. Um, so let's do it. I leave her at the net, thank God, and I decided to keep on walking and right away Cam goes, what's that in front of you? Lauren, there's, a giant snakehead fish laying down the grass right here. You have your glasses on? It's hard for me to see without sunglasses. It looks, looks like a giant. See, it looks like a big eel or a snake right there. 
And at that point, I don't even know if we had the cameras rolling, everything, everything went out the window. Here comes the snakehead. It's beelining right for my daughter. I'm like, yes, it's going for her. And at that point in time, she's real quiet. She just lifts the thing up. Huh? You did? Get it. You got it? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Good job. Oh, no, 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 no. You in there? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah, look at that monster. Ow! <laughs> Woo! We got you. You ain't going nowhere. Now what do we do? <laughs> OK. Here's the critical part. Don't lose. Yes! Yes! I don't have to go back in the I'm just ecstatic. I'm like, yes, yes, we got this sucker. And we go over there, we lifted that up and it grabbed it. And everything, I mean, it was perfect. That was the best day of my life. One of the best days of my life, other than my daughter's born. Yeah. That's not, don't get me wrong, that's not the one we want. We'll take him. We'll come back to that one. Without giving up. Good job. That was perfect. You pulled it up. Almost like you're my child. Look. Sucker's got teeth on him. They'll rip you apart. Heck yeah, we're not stopping now. We're just getting into them. We got them figured out. Stink. Walk the land. New all types. Woo! Yes! I watch him. Watch his, uh, his, his teeth. That's because they've been mating and they're fighting. They're sharp. Sucker. Get back, little mama. Your days are numbered. These things have been eating all the ducks out here. They're slimy. You guys could feel this. See how slimy it is. <laughs> Salami. Oh, well, we need a bucket of water. Actually, these things, do you think this is cool? Give me a bucket, please, Asha. It's not cruel. They can actually breathe air. You can leave this up here for two or three weeks, and it'll still be here. It'll be alive. That's why they're so deadly and invasive. So hard to kill. It's like a top predator. They're taking over this whole area. They love baby ducks. This was loaded with baby ducks a few months ago. See two little ones over there, but if I get excited, I get sick. So this is a snakehead fish. Okay, they are a top predator, mean green, brown eating machine. They take out baby ducks. They've got really sharp teeth. Should probably get a, uh, and they can actually walk on land. These guys can come down these canals and they lay down on the canal banks and they have unbelievable eyesight, top predator, and they feed like a snake. They'll actually look at something, come up, come from underneath, behind, whatever it takes to get it. And they also eat ducks. They annihilate baby ducks with those teeth. I don't know if you can see them in there. They're actually hitched back a little bit. Once they grab the prey, they inhale, inhale again, and then they have nowhere to go. It's done. It's game over for a little duck named Rover. So we're actually going to take this one now and give it to FWC and let them do a study on it. 
it's actually illegal for me to take this fish now we've caught it and throw it back in the water even though you've seen people do it on other shows and stuff and they catch them it is a hundred percent illegal to take an invasive fish and let it back into wildlife the reason a lot of these fish are here is kids that live in these neighborhoods and stuff they're kids i mean it happens they think it's cool though they don't know any better to catch these fish in the bigger canals and then film the small ones so that they have a their own little aquarium scenario but uh the problem is they eat everything and all the native stuff not so first off i just want everybody to know i have a lot of experience in these canals I used to, I started snorkeling in there when I was like 11, 12 years old. Do I recommend anybody getting these pipes? Absolutely not. No way. That's why my daughter's not in the pipe. That's why my friends aren't in the pipe. The only person I recommend maybe an ex-mother-in-law or something in that nature, someone you don't get along with, could you put them in the pipe? Maybe. Is it a good idea? No. Um, but I, I do not recommend that anybody do what I do. I just wanted to show you in a whole different perspective, in a whole different angle, what's really going on down there that you're never going to see unless we did what we had to do.